It's the nine at nine. All right, number nine. This is the coconut monk. He was a pacifist and a mystic. He started the coconut religion in Vietnam. The religion mixed elements of Buddhism, Taoism, and Christianity. The coconut monk, as he was known, lived on an island and meditated in a palm tree for several hours every day. He had some companions, a cat and a mouse. He took shards of bombs and made them into a gong. And he went to prison for his opposition to the Vietnam War. Hmm. What do you know? All right, Paul, number eight. Sure, number eight. This is Bill Atkinson. He's known for his work as an engineer at Apple. In 1985, Bill ate some acid, and he had a heck of a road, a heck of a trip. Uh, he looked up into the stars and he experienced the cosmos. He got lost, but then he got found, and during his wild ride, he came up with an idea that would change all of our lives forever. He thought about information and how best to share it. And from this trip, he brought us HyperCard. HyperCard was a programming application for Apple computers, and it was the precursor to early web browsers. Hmm. Look at him. So the moral of the story is, <laughs> say yes to drugs. Is that it? I think that may be a message. I don't know. That was oh, I don't know. Yeah. All right, number seven. Here's an odd story of one of the founding fathers and signers of the Constitution. First off, his name is Governor Morris, but he wasn't a governor. That was just his name. Sure. He was a great writer, and he penned a preamble to the Constitution. And he was also one of the few delegates at the Constitutional Convention who spoke out against slavery. But he had a bad case of the gout. Oh, and then yeah. he got a serious urinary tract oh, infection. Oh, boy. It was painful and it caused blockage. Oh, Nelly. So he did something no man should do. <laughs> at home, he tried to clear that blockage oh, in his urinary oh, tract by himself oh, using a piece of whalebone. Oh, yeesh. That didn't help. Oh. <laughs> he got oh. infection oh. and died in 1816 at the age of 64. Boy, an infection will kill you dead back then. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, that's People say in the good problems. old days, they don't no. mean 18th century no. health care. No, you bring penicillin back yes. with you. If Nurse, you're going. bring me the whalebone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, that's, that's oh. awful. That's... Awful. Oh. So many levels. All right, number six. About 15 years ago, a chef in New York created ice cream using cereal milk. It was on the menu at a fancy restaurant. Then she opened Milk Bar, a dessert shop that now has about 15 locations across the country. And now people are taking it a step further on TikTok, where cereal ice cream has become a hit. And it's fun to watch it being made. Take a look. Wait, are you crushing the cereal in the milk? Yeah, why are they making... Oh, I see. I thought it was just the milk from the cereal. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Look at... Oh! Oh, so it's cereal and milk made into ice cream, right? Got it. Oh, that does sound delicious. That looks... A co you can't beat that Captain Crunch. But wait a minute. Wouldn't that a copyright? I'm the Captain Crunch bee. The captain's got to be furious. Oh, yeah. He's not getting any money off of this. <laughs> yeah. And the cost of ships yeah. these days and... Yeah, he's going to be ticked. Let alone Queen Crunch. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that does look good. Mm. Ah, bless her heart. Wow. Mm. That is mm. good. Oh, what's that one? Oh, Cocoa Puffs or something? What is that? Mm. Oh, yeah, this is fun. There's some satisfaction. Yeah, why don't you make one of these? You can Robbie. check out Craft Witch on TikTok. They have all these videos. Oh, you're halfway there. You don't need to change anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's like I put the ball right, right. on the tee yeah. and just yeah. wait for you guys to yeah. swing at it. Well, all right, number five. Science says you should have a Bloody Mary when you travel by plane. Huh. A study by a group of Cornell researchers researchers found they actually taste better at 30,000 feet. Ah. That's because of the tomato juice. The noise level on a plane positively influences how humans perceive the taste of savory flavors. During the study on tens of thousands of people, the louder researchers made the environment, the more taste of savory foods were enhanced. So what shouldn't you drink on an airplane? Anything sweet. Hmm. That flavor is inhibited when it gets noisier. Huh, interesting. So now you know.
All right, number four, you can put this one on the list of bad jobs. Hitler had food tasters to make sure he wasn't being poisoned. Uh, there was a group of 15 young German women who had that job for about two and a half years in the 40s. Most of the girls came from families whose homes had been raided by the Nazis, but they themselves were forced into the job. They said they never interacted with Hitler or even saw him and none of the 15 ever succumbed to poisoning. And now there's a play about the women off Broadway in New York. Wow. Who? how about that? Oh. All right, number three. Uh, we've told you about the wild cat called the Caracal. Yeah. These guys have amazing ears with over 20 muscles that swivel around like a satellite dish to detect sounds of their prey. Now here's a short video of a kitten doing it. Whoa! Oh, well, well. How about that? That again. Look at that. Jeez. That's a trained killer Boy, right there. Boy, you can't sneak up yeah. on, no. on that guy. Not easily. Nope. Although he posed for this video, so that was... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's didn't see the guy in front of him. Evil maniacs yeah. just distract him. Can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> But boy, you can hear great. Yeah. All right, number two. This is a 3,200-year-old tablet that was found in Egypt, but it's not just any tablet. All right. It's an attendance log. Oh Each line has the name of a worker. Items in red, if you can see red, uh, are excuses for why the workers were absent on a given ah. day. Excuses include ill, offering to the god, yeah. building his house, Wrapping the corpse of his mother. <laughs> I've used all of these when I call in sick so far. <laughs> his daughter was bleeding. Yeah. Fetching stone for the scribe. And our favorite excuse, brewing beer. Ah. Well, those are all good ones. Yeah. No diarrhea in no there. No diarrhea on that. You would think that, that that one would come up at least once. <laughs> all right. Number Fine. one, uh, you might have seen the uh, overhead shot from the Kentucky Derby that showed just how far the long shot horse Rich Strike ran to overtake the field and win. It's amazing. And they're into the stretch, and it's Fessier, Crown Pride, and Epicenter is coming up on the outside. Epicenter has taken the lead as they arrive into the final furlong. Sandin is coming after him. Epicenter and Sandin, these two, stride for stride. Simplification, now the outside is next. They're coming down to the wire. Epicenter, Sandin, reach strike. He's coming up on the inside. Oh, my goodness. The longest shot has won the Kentucky Derby. Wow. I mean, unbelievable. And a nice companion to this is the 1973 Belmont Stakes. This is thought of as the greatest race victory ever because of the pure dominance by Secretariat. You can see from this clip that he just keeps pulling away. He won Belmont by 31 lengths. His time of 224 for a mile and a half on a dirt track is still a record that many think won't be broken. Secretariat won the Triple Crown that year, that. holding the fastest times record in all three races. After Secretariat died, they examined his body to see if they could figure out why he was so good. They found that his heart was much larger than an average racehorse's heart. The average weight is eight and a half pounds. Secretariat's heart weighed 22 pounds. What? All about heart. I thought an enlarged heart wasn't good. I know. Ah, unless you're a Secretariat. Unless you're a yeah. horse. That is amazing. Oh, wow. wow. That's the nine at nine. Well, that was fun. I feel like we learned a lot, too. We did learn a lot. It's the nine.